today's video is about removing the diesel loom from the this is the injector loom that's hidden underneath the rocker cover there so this is a common problem on these cars they break down due to the heat and and cooling and you know they're wired they're they're copper wires with a plastic insulation so they crack so just start by removing all the obvious screws on the outside they're all 10 mil 10 mil bolts socket whatever um, just loosen them now there is one hidden bolt just behind the EGR which you have to kind of maneuver yourself around which I'm going to show you in a minute so as you see there just remove the intake pipe and the one on the um, that the, the the air filter there as well just to give you more space you know it's not essential you could probably find a way around it now what you see them doing there is actually release um, removing loosening I should say the intake manifold because you have to just move that back a little bit so you can get access to the bolt that's actually hidden underneath it once you've done that you can gain access like that as you see I'm doing here it would probably be easy just to remove the manifold but I couldn't be, I, I, to be honest I couldn't be bold to remove it so <laughs> I took a chance once you've removed all the bolts from the rocker cover it's just simple lift up it's all pretty easy stuff and now that exposes all the camshaft and the rest of it Here's a picture of the loom and how the wires are actually plugged into the injectors themselves. Like I say, this is a common fault, so you know it is a very easy thing to eliminate when you're trying to work out what's going on wrong. Now you're gonna to have to move two 10 mil bolts that actually hold the um the injector loom panel itself. You can see I'm just removing it here. Yeah, there you go. It's a little bit tricky because there's a few things there. The earlier screw was to get the injector rail out of the way forgot to mention that earlier once you've got that loose you can just lift up these plugs as you can see I'm doing it by hand if you have to you could do it by a screwdriver but I'm just doing it by hand all simple stuff all pretty easy okay now once you've got it loose they've got little slots on the actual plastic runners themselves which you can tuck the plugs into it's a little bit difficult because the kind of they've kind of frozen solid the wires in that shape as you can see I'm just trying to fish it out now because as you pull it out it's got two metal side kind of locators so I'm just pushing them in and trying to feed it through the channels it will be really obvious once you get it open you see it in there but it's, it's not difficult just wiggle it around and try not to pull too much and just fish it out and it'll come out pretty easy now like I said this is a very very common fault on these cars so you know this is a very easy way just to eliminate this or replace it so that's how easy it is in my next video what I do is I show you how to test this part to make sure it's actually working so I hope that helped there you go it's that simple comment rate subscribe thanks for watching